How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. What's we up? Have Ascent Like Wolves, correct? Correct. Uh, and he can say his name and what he does in the band. My name is Al, and I do vocals in Ascent Like Wolves, and sometimes keys, but not really live. Okay, okay, awesome. So my first question is, how did you start out Ascent Like Wolves? How did you get your members, or the current lineup? Well, we've been through, this is our second like full lineup. Okay. Um, our first lineup was founded by me and our guitar player Jeff, and he currently doesn't tour with the band. Okay. But he primarily writes all the music and does some sort of local shows with us, like a okay. couple times a year. Okay. And uh, we had like a couple demos come out and a couple releases that weren't official. Um, and we had a uh, like an EP called "And the Story Goes" come out. Okay. And he was a part of that as well. And then when we hit Frigid Future, we kind of switched our lineup and got new members. And Cody and Kyle are part of the new lineup as well. Um, and before that, I was the only vocalist. But oh, wow, okay, um, yeah. sometime in between there, Nick and I kind of just made the band two vo- two, a two-vocal band. And so um, we were just figuring stuff out. We weren't really ready to uh, commit to anything. But once we found our sound, we had a better idea of the band. So... Awesome. So it's kind of like along the lines of like issues, how like they have Scout doing like producer role, or is it? Yeah, like ki- I mean, kind of. Um, on our new EP that's coming out in a month, uh, kind of reminds me of Headspace a little bit because okay. because Nick sings a lot more on it oh, now, sick. Okay. which is cool. And uh, yeah, Jeff Jeff does do, do all the pre production and he rec- records with us, does all the fun things, videos, photos, but. Uh, he has a he has a really good job, so touring's not his thing, which I can respect. <laughs> so it's not for everybody, you know. Awesome. My next question, Al. What are some favorite venues you like to play at? Oh man, um, I haven't played a lot in the U.S., but uh, favorite venues. I would definitely say like this was a good night here at the yeah, Voltage, Voltage Lounge. I, yeah. I've been here a few times, but I've never actually played. So I think today was dope and. Um, uh, Chameleon Club in Lancaster yep. is always a home hometown favorite. And uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, we played the Canal Club in Virginia. Oh, cool! That yeah. place is pretty sick. Okay. I like it, like it a lot. Um, as far as like other venues, uh, Asia, we played this place called B10 Live House in China. Okay, okay. that was like crazy. It oh, was, it was huge. Like Crossfaith played there. Oh, sick! <laughs> we showed up, and I was like, "Are, are we are <laughs> we really playing this venue right now? <laughs> like, I don't know." <laughs> But we did. Yeah, it was cool. Awesome. It was cool. My next question, kind of the follow-up to favorite venues, what was the last show that you went to, excluding your band? You can come through. Yeah, come, through mean, come through. Come through. Come through. Just come through. You have a cameo. There you go. Oh, the last show I went to was um, Architects, Counterparts, oh, yeah. and Stick Your Guns. Just went to that one. Cool. In Philly? Yep. Nice, nice. I wasn't there. I was at the Baltimore oh, one. Oh, shit. Yep. Uh, yeah, Architects have been like one of my favorite bands since they came out with Hollow Crown. So I've been I've been following like them this whole time, and um, I just really respect them as a band. They're they're crazy. Awesome, awesome. That tour was just insane. Yeah, it was. Like, yeah, was so good. So <laughs> all they all they needed was three bands on that. They didn't need Seriously, anything else. Yeah, they didn't even need yeah. vocals. They just Nothing. they were just so good together. Mm-hmm. But my next question, probably the most important question. Okay. Who are some of your musical influences, or are uh, for the band, obviously? Um, I guess you could speak for yourself too. <laughs> all right. Well, if I'm speaking for myself, I'll say uh, probably Silverstein. Oh, really? Silverstein and Attack Attack kind of got me into oh, yeah, into same. like metalcore. Same. Yeah. Yep. Um, as far as like Jeff and Nick, I would say like I don't know. I guess uh, what was me and oh, great. Um, even even bands like Atreyu and just kind of like old school metalcore yeah. kind of influences current lineup and uh you know the obvious ones like devil wars brada they don't remember you know course, the old school type stuff but all the like classic bands you know classic, you, gotta, yeah. you gotta have those in there um but my next question is uh what have you been jamming recently well past couple days i've been jamming the new slaves album yeah obviously okay, obviously yeah yeah um I don't know. It's a good question. I've been jamming my friend's band. They're called Abstracts. They're, okay. from, they're from Japan. I have to check them out. They're really good. You should check out their album Hologram. And then they have uh, a more instrumental album out before that, okay. just called Abstracts. Uh, they're a really good band, though. They, they have a newer lineup. Okay. But check out Hologram. You won't be disappointed. Okay, I have to go do that. 
All right, my next question, Al. Fun one. If you guys could pick a song to cover live, what song would it be? <laughs> I f- I He's feel laughing, like <laughs> so this is a good, good I assume. Well, n- Nick and I were jamming uh, The Ballad of Chasey Lane by Bloodhound Gang oh, recently. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I made a comment to him at dinner last week. I was like, yeah, we should, uh, we should do this. And he's, he just looked at me like... <laughs> uh not not really i dude i have no idea we did a cover of um alex clara too close you know oh nice feels okay, like yeah, yeah. i am yeah we did that song but recently i don't know something like by Car- Katy perry would be cool interesting you know okay. or halsey or something i feel something like, like awesome. pop like something yeah pop. something pop or, or rap okay um, okay nothing in the rock type area yeah i got you but Def- I'd like to see that. I could see you guys doing a Katy Perry song. Yeah, that'd be, cool. that'd be an interesting yeah, spin, yeah. you know. Uh, nice. My next question is: gotta ask this one. Favorite food to eat? That's a weighted oh, question, man. too. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I would honestly say uh, probably sushi or oh. or mac and cheese. Ooh, ooh okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. They're both good good choices, in my opinion. Awesome, awesome. My next question, Al, if you could pick somebody to collaborate with, who would it be? It can either be by, like, producer role or uh, somebody to have as a guest on your record. Hmm. Um, I know producing, I would really like to go to um, Steve Evitz. He yeah. did, He did. you know, Every Time I Die and um, yeah. one of the Architects records and uh, Suicide Silence. I think he's a really good producer. Uh, as far as collaborating, uh, we just did a, uh, a song with the guy from Crystal Lake, Ryu. Oh, and he's awesome. it, Yeah, it was so sick. And um, I think, you know, the next thing we want to do is get somebody else from Japan on one of our stuff, uh, CrossFaith. Yeah. Ken, Ken from CrossFaith, yeah. we're, we're kind of friends, too. So I would really love for that to happen. And um, Abstracts would be sick, too, a Ooh, band I was mentioning yeah. earlier. Okay. They're cool. I like all the Japan-centric artists. Yeah, man, I we've, mean, we've toured there before, and we have a lot of friends. Crystal so. Lake, if you are not checking out that band, you need to do yourself Crystal a Lake. Go check them out. Crystal Lake. They are so, so good. Yep. It's insane. The Sign by Crystal Lake. Yeah. It's all you need. <laughs> awesome. My next question, Al, if there was another instrument that you could just shred out, what instrument would it be? <sighs> Obviously one you don't know, preferably. <laughs> I, I know how to play the guitar, but I wish I could shred that okay, instrument okay. because then we wouldn't have had to go through so many bass players in this <laughs> band. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I, I wish I could play the drums well. That's something Cody okay. Cody just destroys the drums. He's oh, so yeah. good, but I feel like it takes a lot to learn that instrument, and you need incredible musicianship to do that as well. Oh, absolutely. Also, like I feel like I've said this about multiple in multiple times in an interview but i play guitar so like oh okay cool hand, i don't have the hand feet coordination that uh. requi- is required of <laughs> drummers so i just look like an idiot <laughs> i'm on the drum kit so i could just get other people to do it where where we record we actually do uh we do that together but then we'll do we'll do hands separately for takes for oh cool. all takes of every song and then we'll do feet separately too and it it creates like a really interesting dynamic to just see like Cody record hands. Yeah, at just one time. do feet or just yeah, do hands. It's crazy because yeah. even though his feet aren't on pedals, they're still just they're moving <laughs> like that. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Awesome. So my next question is my personal favorite question: If there was a video game character that you could be, who would you rock? <laughs> Lara Croft. <laughs> oh, that no question. That was immediate. I like that. Or uh, Leon from Resident Evil. <laughs> beautiful yeah, yeah. i love both of them <laughs> why laura croft though, if you don't mind me asking i don't know man those video games are just awesome true you know what i mean true. they're cool no I, more explanation needed I yeah i resident evil is really dope too so i mean you, you can't count that out ever you know um, awesome so my next question al in your opinion who puts on a great live show hmm a great live show I'm gonna take a minute to think about this. Great live show. <laughs> Great live show. Um, honestly, when I saw Architects the other night, I thought it was incredible. Just the lighting and. Um, oh yeah. I was I was kind of standing near the guy who was who was who was doing the lighting and mixing the soundboard. It just it just looked crazy. Like you you know they spent a lot of money on that. 
It's that wild. effort, yeah. Johnny Craig. Johnny. Good set, by the way, dude. Good set. <laughs> no, I I totally get that, and you know I saw them obviously in Philly, and it was sold out. So like, yeah. TLA was just packed to the max. So. I mean, for them to do that is just incredible. Yeah, I've seen them there with um, Every Time I Die, and oh. I saw them way back when with uh, Bringing the Horizon when they did wow. the Ep- Epitaph tour, I think. That's sick. Yeah, it, they had they the, needed to bring that back. Yeah, they had the original lineup and everything. Oh. It was it was awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, my next question, Al, is another favorite of mine. If you could compile a dream tour, who'd be on it? Can I add my band to this? Of course. <laughs> absolutely. I would feel remiss if you didn't add your band to the list. Uh, probably uh, <laughs> probably, probably Bring Me the Horizon, Architects, Counterparts. Uh, some of the band I love. I love this band called Fight Star. Yeah. You know dude, that band? Oh, I love Fight yeah, Star. Yeah, dude, dude. I love Fight Star, dude. They're so good. Uh, Funeral for a Friend. Oh, they're great, too. And my band. <laughs> Beautiful. I love that lineup. Good. Fight good. Star, I Dude, feel like it's. People don't know about underrated. that band. If you Check out Fight Star. <laughs> Fight Star, if you don't know them, they're awesome. Check out Behind the Devil's Back. And if you've never listened to them before that at all, listen to Grand Unification and One Day Sun. Yeah. Really good albums. Uh, totally back that, 100%. They uh, are extremely underrated. And I, I feel like that tour would be just amazing. I yeah, I, I regret missing. Um, it was the tour. I think it was. Uh, how do you say it? Alexis on fire? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that band. It was Fight Star, if you know, for a friend, wow. and uh, Medina Lake. No. Yeah. Oh, that, 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 that. Okay. That's, yeah. That, that's it. That's that. That was a crazy tour that I missed, and I wish I could go back in time. That's the worst, isn't it? it it's bad. Yeah. I wish. Uh. You know, with some Dragon Ball Z shit, where I could just go in a time capsule and there come back. Go. There you go. Yeah. I love that. Next uh-huh. question, Al. Another one. Favorite TV show. Favorite movie. Oh man. Um. Favorite TV show? Hmm. My favorite TV show right now is probably one that I've been watching, which is Dragon Ball. Oh, it's Dragon Ball Super? I've been watching Dragon Ball Super too, but Dragon Ball was just really interesting. If you've never seen anything, you know, like before Dragon Ball Z, you can kind of go back and be like, holy shit, I know this character (laughs) now. Yeah, I just saw Tien and Chaozu be introduced, and I was like, yes, this is cool. This is cool. Um, favorite, Favorite movie... I would say um, Lord of War with Nicolas Cage and oh, Jared Leto. So it's a good movie. Yeah, I like it a lot. Awesome. My next question, Al. If there was a Desert Island album, an album you can only listen for a month straight, what album would it be? Can I look through my phone for a Absolutely. second? Absolutely. Right. You want me We're to hold doing. that? We're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. Oh man, I'm gonna say uh, Fact Witness. They're another Japanese oh, band. Oh yeah, That's Fact. Awesome. They're all yeah, yeah. dude. You're just mentioning dude. all these great Japanese dude. bands. We because they're so good. They are <laughs> for real. I I got to play with them with a uh, side project band of mine like That's two so years sick. ago. I love Fact. They. I don't oh, yeah. even think they've ever come to the U.S. To my knowledge. Twice. Did they? Oh my god, I keep missing. Yeah, they. Out. Uh, the last tour they came to was with I Set My Friends on Fire. Oh, really? Okay. 2012, and then before that with I Wabo in like 2009 oh, or something, okay. 2007. Well, they just I don't need know. to come back. I mean, they I do. Like they they're, they're not a band anymore. They broke up. My heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have a new band called Shadows, and I'll have to check it out. The right. other band that's like split in half is called Joy Opposites. Okay, I'll have to check out both of those because I'm a huge Fact fan. Good. So I'm glad you I'll, are. I'll have to check out both of those bands. Cool. And lastly, Al. The most important thing, tell them about your band, where they can find you at, and anything coming up in the next couple months. Yeah, we have an EP called Spirit Vessel coming out in about a month's time, March 30th. Pre-order that shit. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, it's going to be on everything. Um, We're going to have a new music video out in two or three weeks, I believe, featuring uh, Rio from Crystal Lake. It's gonna be so sick. Stoked. I was, I, I, I actually, we just got the video back today. Did you really? Yeah, we did. I was watching it while they, <laughs> while they were playing. I was like, oh no, this is great. But uh, yeah, check us out. Um, we'll be touring China, Japan, and South Korea in two months from now. Cool. And then we'll be hitting up um, the U.S. and Canada in the fall. 
How so. is how is your? I mean, I feel like I haven't talked to bands that have gone to Japan, but like, how has the reception been for your band? And like, you know, how is the culture like in Japan in terms of like that style of music? It's it's on another level. When you watch the local bands play, you'll just shit yourself because they sound like national bands. That's you're, crazy. You're just like, holy crap! They're super prepared. Everybody's choreographed and everything. It's it's a whole another level. Um, Tour, touring there was probably like one of the best experiences in touring that I've ever had. Everything's so clean. Everybody's nice. Um, I don't. I don't have one bad thing to say about touring Japan at all. Um, shout out to Sailing Before the Wind. Um, their bass player Bataku is really good friends of oh, ours, okay. and he plays um, in Crystal Lake. He oh, plays bass awesome. too. That's how we know them. Sick. And uh, shout out to Shoot the Girl First. They're from France. Yes. Uh, yep. We we've I toured with them over yep. there. And, um, yeah, man, Japan's just, it's like living on another planet. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I, I definitely great. want to try to make my way out there. You should. For personal reasons. Yeah, but absolutely. Definitely go check out Ascent Like Wolves. All of the links will be in the description uh, where you can go find out about their bands, their music. Uh, definitely go pre-order their new record when it comes out uh, on yeah, the yeah. 30th. And um, if you like this interview, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. check out Send Like Wolves. And thanks to Al. Thank everybody you. for coming on. Uh, we'll be chatting with you soon, guys. Peace. Peace. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews. We do band interviews. And we do live videos. So definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button, it really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media, that's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces!